Weasel Zappa. Yeah. Play some stuff, or anybody who wants to come up and actually learn something, I can. I'd be happy to just uh, work you through something. There you go. So that, that's that's all that's all that it is. But it takes getting used to. So at a certain point, you'll see that sooner or later you'll just go. And it's really really easy. Nobody's doing this. A company is, is taking it to the street, they're, they're taking it to the people and asking them what they want and this is what they want, talking one-on-one -on -one with the players and learning and picking, picking players' heads of how can I get better and that's what I did today, how can I get better. I think every player has to have that openness coming into the Fender University because that's what you're going to get here. I love being a part of Fender and when I heard about it I said, you know, absolutely. Um, I'd do it every year if I could and I love, you know, educating people and inspiring people because that's what you know, that's what it did for me. You know, the whole vibe here and everything is great. I mean, this is really good. I mean, this is really cool. The whole thing is amazing. So I can just say thank you. And I'm more than, I'm, I wake up every day going like, wow, this is, this is good. <laughs> so go home and practice now. The common ground obviously was music, the guitar, and it was like immediately, I think, bonds and it was virtue still going strong. Yeah, last night they were talking about when their class reunion is going to be, so yeah. it's, you know, they all want to see each other again. And what I've seen is just an overwhelming um, glee and happiness with the attendees, and their interest level has just, it's exceeded all of my expectations. It's been an incredible experience. Well, I've always been interested in Fender guitars, so the opportunity to come to their home and see how they're made uh, seem good, too good to pass up. You see all the players, but you don't see the people who, you know, design it, craft it, market it, you know, try to get it in the hands of, of regular everyday guys, and that was what was really cool, and they are excellent. They are so nice and spectacular to be around, and wonderful people, and they didn't make this like a rock and roll fantasy camp or something like that. They, they made this like a true Fender experience, and it's hard to put into words, but it is very familial, like, yeah. I've probably learned more in these four days than I have in years. So it, it's, it's been, it's, it actually has been the chance of a lifetime. If you remember last night, I had a chance to talk with a lot of you. And the question I asked you was, why Fender University? You know, why did you spend your money and your time and your energy doing this? And the thing that was, two things, that were the overall winner in what your interests were, um, was the name Fender, of which I'm very proud. And the other thing that uh, came through with talking with you was this was about dreams. These may have been dreams that you had when you were 12, or dreams that you didn't get till you were 44. Who knew? But these were dreams that you held in your heart. <laughs>